What's going on, people? Tosh here, the energetic back again. This time handling bids for my man Murdercore on Twitter. He was asking how to duplicate will actually extend your patterns. And secondly, how to drag and drop from machine into your recording program. There's also another lesson I'm going to include that you'll find very, very useful for this. Let's get it started with a really basic pattern. All right, so we got a real basic pattern that's in 4-4, and it's only one bar. Say you wanted to extend it to eight bars. It's actually very simple. What you do is go to Pattern, and above the second tab, it says Double. If you click on it, it's going to duplicate your pattern in multiples of two. So I want to do eight bars. I can hit it four times. Boom, and I got eight bars. Let's play it. Now, if you can see, this brings up another issue. You can't see what's going on in the rest of the beat. I don't know if a lot of people know about what I'm getting ready to show you, but I'm going to show you anyhow. You go to navigate. All the pads that are lit up can control the software. So the top pads are going to control the scenes. Bottom pads are going to control the piano roll or where you actually make the beat. These pads right here can zoom in or zoom out. So now I can zoom all the way out and I can see what's going on in the rest of the beat. These pads right here, you can scroll left or right through the beat or through your scenes. Very, very simple. Now, last thing he was asking about is how to drag and drop from machine into your recording software. It's a very simple process. You go over here to this arrow that's pointing down, click on it, go down to pattern drag mode, and you can select whether you go audio or MIDI. I want to drag out the audio, so we got that checked already. Secondly, you go over here, export audio, and you want to make sure that loop optimize is checked. If not, when you try to drag and drop it, you'll understand why you need to have it. Close that. And you go over here to where you see this crosshair looking thing. Let me uh, minimize that real quick. You go to the crosshair, hold it down, and make sure you hold it down until it said it's done. Now, you can actually see I got a little something that's holding on to the mouse. I can take that right over into my recording program and play it. See? Very simple. So, shout out to my man Murdercore. Appreciate you uh, hitting me up and uh, giving me this idea for this video. And secondly, shout out to everybody that's on YouTube and on the other blogs. Uh, and on my website that have been showing me a lot of love for all the lessons, all the beat breakdown, the instrumental, and there's a couple other things I'm getting ready to start up that's going to be pretty silly. So feel free to go to my website. You can always download some free music. My entire catalog is over there. It's for free. And uh, if you appreciate the, the, the videos and the lessons, feel free to go over to the donate tab and drop a little something off for you, man. But other than that, I appreciate y'all again, and I will holler at you next time. Peace.